Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Julian Gibson, Marathon Bahamas, topping the sports headlines. That grueling race through the city took place this morning. Our Nico Skowala tells us who exactly is using Bengay, mineral ice and rubbing alcohol tonight. This morning, Marathon Bahamas got underway and in an excess of 1,300 runners, both local and international combined, took to the streets to compete in the event. Veronica Duncanson, Executive Vice President for Marathon Bahamas 2012, spoke more in depth about the event. This is our third year of Marathon Bahamas. The idea all came about um, as a marketing initiative three years ago. And so today, three years later, our numbers are up in both events. In, in our first year, we only had the marathon. We attracted some 500 participants. By, by year two, we were just under 800. Uh, today, we are just under 900. Uh, the majority of those persons coming to us um, from other than the Bahamas, the U.S., and actually 19 other countries. And so we have here today just under 900 persons three years later from 20 countries around the world. And so for us, we are very pleased. Uh, we are doubly as pleased because our numbers overseas continue to increase exponentially. And of course, you know that what that means for our tourism industry and sports tourism. Angela Cobbs, the full marathon female winner, spoke about her performance in the race and the good time she's having while here in the Bahamas. I went out kind of fast and then on the way back the wind got me so it slowed me down quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I was 17 seconds from under three. I wanted to be under three hours, but uh, it's all good. I'm in the Bahamas, so it could be better than that. Brian Huberty, the male winner, also shared his views on his winning performance. It's always a uh major experience doing a marathon you know it's kind of a battle with yourself and there's a little bit of a battle between competitors as the position but I like keeping it friendly too and having good energy and I know second place personally and we we exchanged some encouraging words to each other around mile six now amongst discussing numerous other topics Huberty did not fail to mention how much he loves it here in the Bahamas love it man um, came here in November for a cruise with Royal Caribbean um, did a little jog around the course 18 miler it was a really windy day I did the bridge um, got lost up in the hills a little bit did the course nice energy here nice people um, good at organization involved good good uh, sponsors so yeah great experience for ZNAS Total Sports I'm Nico Scavella from sailing yesterday a new class C boat was added to the fleet that we already have in the Bahamas Larry Bastian and his family launching the Melva B in Nassau Village we pray that this boat will bring happiness and joy to the families, both of Bastian, Andres, and the Bahamian public at large. Bless us now in Christ's name, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Named after his mother, Mrs. Melva Bastian, Larry Bastian invited movers and shakers of the sport of sloop sailing for the launch yesterday. Sir David Knowles, King Eric Gibson, Reverend Dr. Philip McPhee, the sailing barber, Clyde Rule, Lundy Robertson, and a number of persons all on hand to see the C-Class boat. By the way, today is Ms. Melva Bastian's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Bastian. I also like to thank my son Larry for doing something in my honor. 74 years is not an easy time to pass through, <laughs> but I made it through that far. And I would like to thank everyone who is here this evening. I inherited the Heathcliff and I inherited the Ruth Nell. And I've we have won many trophies, but the result was, it was Jay's Heathcliff. It was always Oscar Porter, Ruth now. Well, thanks to contractor Dawn Pender, Larry Bastian now has his own boat, the Melva B. Okay, that's it. Well, yesterday the Junior Baseball League of Nassau officially kicked off their new season. President Julian Gibson, sorry, make that President Julian Braun. He's all excited about 2012. JBLN doesn't stop until it achieves what it wants to achieve for its kids. And that's the dedication. That's the drive. And that's why we're all out here 
every day of the year even when we're not playing baseball making sure that when January comes the wind blows and the skies are bleak JBLN walks out onto this field and starts a new season now the league also took some time out yesterday to honor Philip Kemp senior an umpire who officiated in the league take off your hats in a moment of silence with me in honor of our great friend our great supporter our umpire extraordinaire Philip Kemp well that's all the time for Sports Sunday once again I'm Julian Gibson stay tuned you've got a forecast it's still